Let's learn in this video how to create a workflow to build and deploy a web application into the cloud. We'll take as an example an ASP.NET application. During the build pipeline, we'll go to restore the NuGet packages, create the package by compiling the application, and then uploading that package into the artifacts. And then from the deploy stage or the deploy job, we'll go to download that artifact, connect to the Azure cloud, to our Azure app service, for example, and then we'll go to deploy that package. We'll create here the workflow using GitHub Actions with two jobs. First job is going to go to build the web application, and the second job will go to deploy that web app into an app service into Azure Cloud. Let's take a closer look into the first job for build. So that job will start first by getting by checking out the application source code into the runner machine, which is in my case here a .NET Core application using MVC uh, templates. And then I will go to install the .NET 6.0, which is the .NET version I'm using for that web application. Then I'll go to setup or to first download the dependencies, which are the NuGet packages for this application. And in order to avoid downloading them again and again each time I run this pipeline, I will set up a cache for these downloads. Then I go to build the application, create the publish folder, and then upload that artifact into the deploy job, which will go to run next. So going to that deploy job, we can see here the different steps, which will go to start with downloading the artifact from the build job and then deploying the application into an Azure app service as a web app. Let's see now the workflow YAML file behind this, uh, uh, behind this uh, uh, workflow. So here, going to my GitHub repository, where here I have a sample.NET Core application that I want to build and deploy. So this is sample.NET Core application using .NET 6 and using C Sharp code. And then within the workflows, I have my workflow number 31 here, which will go to uh, create and deploy that web app. So for this workflow, actually, you can generate it or you can get it as one of the workflows available within the GitHub Actions right here. So if I go to Actions and then if I go to create a new workflow, you will find an existing template for compiling and deploying into app service, which is this one here, deploy.net core app and uh, deploy it into Azure web app. So if you, if I click on configure, that will go to create that workflow for you. I have already taken the same workflow and I have made some small changes into it that I'll go to work you through these changes. So here I have my workflow. Let me zoom it a little bit more here. So you will find here multiple resources for how to configure this workflow. So I have changed its name and then I have configured some environment variables. So first one here is the name of my app service. So because I want to deploy into app service, so first I need to create that app service. So I have created a web app with the name GitHub Actions workflow. How I did that, so going to my Azure subscription here, I have gone to create a new resource. So I create a new resource here. And then from these different templates, we choose web app. That's what I have done here. And then we need to configure the different variables or different parameters for this web app. So here we have the resource group, the name of the web app itself, the runtime stack and so on. I have already done that here. So the resource group, I can go to create a new resource group and then I specify a unique name for my app service for my Azure websites.net. And then I specify to publish a code, not a Docker container. And then I go here to select the runtime. In my case, my application is .NET 6. So I choose here .NET 6, but not also, you can also do, uh, publish Java, Node.js applications, Python, uh, PHP, Ruby, and many more. And that's the only configuration I need here. Of course, you can go to choose a different region for your web app. Uh, Azure is available in multiple data centers and around the world. So you choose the one you want. And then next we go to review and create. And once that review passes, here it tells me it doesn't because I have already created this web app. Otherwise, for you, if you choose a unique web app, then you, you will have the create button and that will go to create the app service for you.
Once the app service is created, you should be able to navigate to that app service and then view that uh, app service URL uh, that app service URL from here. Now I'll go to to configure my workflow in order to deploy into this app service within Azure. So how can I do that? So here, and coming back to my workflow, I go to trigger it each time I have a new workflow dispatch. And I have two jobs. First job is going to build the web application using an Ubuntu machine because this here I have .NET Core application, which is cross-platform, so it runs on Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Windows. And then I want to specify some defaults. So I want to run the commands that are using run or the steps using run from within the working directory, this one that contains my, uh, my web application. And then for these steps, I start by checking out the application source code, installing .NET Core with the version that I have specified earlier, which is in my case here, the version 6.0.x. And then I'll go to set up dependencies. So this will create a cache uh, and that cache will would host my NuGet packages for this web application. And then I'll go to build the .NET application using the command .NET build with the configuration release. Then I'll go to create the publish uh, package and I'll save it into the .NET root slash my app. And then I'll go to upload that slash my app, which contains the package. I'll go to upload it as an artifact into GitHub. So I will save it as a file called .NET app. Then the second job here that's going to go to deploy the web app into Azure App Service uh, Cloud. So here, uh, this will run inside an Ubuntu machine. It needs the build to be completed I, uh, to run uh, sequently. And then I'll specify some environment variables. So the name is going to be de uh, development. And then I specify here an environment for URL, which is going to be the web app URL. So note that's actually an output of the step that is called deploy to web app. So if we go back to that one, sorry, that is the one below here, deploy to web app. So the output will, will be the web app URL. So the different steps for this deployment job is to go first to download the artifact from the build job. So that will use the action download artifact and then it will download that .NET app that they have already uploaded. Why we are doing this? Because this second job will run inside another runner, inside another virtual machine that does not have this package. So even if they are both using the same type of the machine, it's not the same instance of that machine. This is another virtual machine using the same uh, uh, or using the same runner or the same version right here. So now I have that package inside the second machine. I'll go to download it or I'll go to deploy it into Azure App Service. And to do that, I'm using here the task Azure Web App Deploy. So with that, I need to configure it with its name. So I need to specify the name for that web app. And that's the role for this environment Azure Web App name that I have configured earlier, right here, Azure Web App name. And that is, remember, that is the name of my web app that I have created, which is in my case, GitHub Actions Workflow. So that's the name of my web app configured there. Next. I go here to specify the publish profile as a secret within my GitHub repository. So one thing to note here is that in order to deploy applications into Azure, we have different options. Okay. So one option could be to use the managed identity or to use the service principle or for the case of app service, we can use the publish profile. What is that? So the publish profile is available within the app service itself. If I go here to this uh, dashboard, I can see uh, the option to get the publish profile. If I go to download it, it will show me, it will go to download that uh, uh, file right here with the extension dot publish settings. So if I open that file, actually it will contain the publish URL, with the port number and it will contain also uh, a, like a password for my web app which is available somewhere right here yes then that is this one right here for my case so now i need to take this published profile content i need to copy it and then 
I need to use it as a GitHub secret. So within my GitHub repository, I have gone to uh, settings right here, then go to uh, secrets for actions. And then here I need to go to specify a new repository secret. So creating a new secret, pasting the value from my publish uh, credentials, and then specifying the name of that secret which is in this case Azure Web App Publish Profile. And then I can go to add that secret. I have already done that. So when I go back to secrets, I should see my secret available right here. Great. So this means that here, GitHub Actions will take those credentials and it will use it in order to deploy this web app into the Azure App Service. Let's go now to run this action. So I'll go to actions, select my action, and then I'll choose here to run it manually, run workflow. And here I see my action started running. Click on it. And here I see my first job for the build that will be triggered. And I see it now running the different steps from this, uh, from this uh, first job and it will finish by uploading the artifact into GitHub and that artifact will be available from my uh, GitHub repository. So now coming back to those actions, I can see actually a link for that artifact. If I go here, we should see that artifact will be available here later. And now let's see what is happening now within the deploy. So if I click there, that deploy will go to download the artifact from the build. So it will save it into the second machine. And then it will go to deploy the web app into Azure App Service. So it did download the artifact into this folder. And now I can see my web app was deployed successfully into Azure App Service. Here I have the link for that web application and they can go also to my Azure subscription and review that link and open it in a new window. Let's do that. You can see my application is loading and yes, here it is my web application now hosted in Azure App Service using GitHub Actions workflow. Coming back to this workflow, going to the summary, we should see here the two jobs with the green it means they are run successfully. And now we can see that also we have an artifact, one artifact that is the .NET app. If I click on this artifact, it will, it will uh, navigate me or it will go to download it into my machine. And you can also see this artifact from my GitHub repository. So if I go to code, then I would see here some uh, artifacts that were created right here. So this pipeline that I've showed today is available on this file. It's the file number 31. Okay. And uh, here I want to share some additional resources. So in following this link, you will find more uh, documentation about how to build and deploy web applications into the Azure cloud for different uh, web application types like for .NET, PHP, uh, Python, and Java. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.